Hey, it's another episode of Super Quick Tips, and this time it's enshrouded. So let's go. Disclaimer, these tips are currently for the alpha after patch 1, version 7.01. Water. Water is important for many things. Stamina recovery, planting crops, potions, spells, food. It can be found at village wells. Another great spot, though, is the first fast travel tower. You can break these big vase jar things and get a good bit of water as well as other useful materials. Breaking stuff in and shrouded pays dividends, so go crazy. A pickaxe works well. Carry a wand or two. It's free range DPS without crafting lots of arrows, even if you aren't a spellcaster. You may even carry one of each element in case you encounter an enemy with resistance, i.e. fire, ice, shock. Speaking of arrows, if you do need lots of twigs for crafting arrows, then mine wolf den floors. Pickaxe the twiggy ground and bundle them things up and craft arrows until you're out of space. You're going to need them if you're using a bow or playing a bow class. Go get them, Legolas. On currently viable classes, you're looking at wizard, caster classes, then ranger with multi-shot, sword and board, then general melee DPS is considered last on the tier list right now. With that said, I played with a group of five, and having a jump attack melee for AoE was great, but this was enhanced because I had a tank to keep aggro and take shots. I had a hard-hitting archer and a wizard and healer for OP damage and healing. So don't stress about builds right now in the alpha, and besides, it isn't expensive at all to respec and try other classes. Have fun with it. Respecing costs 10 runes currently. That's like one piece of gear's worth. You do this at your crafted flame altar. When you acquire gear out in the world, you can just go to your inventory, right click the item, and then dismantle it. It'll give you runes if it isn't a crafted item. These are important, so save them and use them to upgrade weapons at the blacksmith too. Oh yeah, get double jump before I forget. In my opinion, no matter what class you play, you need to divert as soon as possible and get double jump. It's way too convenient for traversal around the map. There are two routes, on the tree to go and get double jump. You can do it through the athlete melee and getting jump attack, which is fun. Or if not, you can go through survivor and get some endurance. Also water aura, the ability is OP, even after the slight nerf after the first patch. It gives constant passive healing to you and nearby teammates. That's what we call a no brainer. You may be eager to get skill points to put builds together because well, it's fun and it makes you stronger, but you don't really do this through leveling. That'd be too slow. Explore for good XP, continue the quest the game gives you, but mostly you want to go to these areas on the map called Shroud Root and Elixir Wells, so the purple points. Go there and clear the area. You'll find a big old red tree. Chop it down and enjoy the XP and the skill points. Blue Shroud good, Red Shroud bad. Being in the blue shroud starts a timer that kills you when it reaches zero. Red shroud means you ain't supposed to be here. Go upgrade your flame altar to a higher tier and then this pesky red shroud will become blue. Stamina is super important in Valheim. <clears throat> uh, I mean in Enshrouded. And keeping the rested buff is gold numero uno. It increases max stamina, increases stamina regen. In an exploration heavy game like this one, it's important. Use it for running, jumping, melee attacking, mining, dodging, and so on and so forth. Buff runs out and you're in a tight spot or you die and you're not quite near your place, you can always drop a quick campfire and get the buff back real quick. It won't last very long, but at least you can get something until you can get back and get a longer buff. Shift R, man. Shift R. If you're tired of drag and dropping or shift clicking items into your chest and storage, then just shift R it. It moves everything from your inventory that's in the storage container. That means you can just go to each container and just shift R that shit until everything is put away. You're welcome. In the very beginning of the game you have to build a flame altar to progress. This acts as a fast travel point. You can build lots of these beasts so save them up and put them in hard to reach spots around the map. You can build around 8 right now but the devs have mentioned up to 20 at some point. Probably when the entire map is unlocked. I'm enjoying Enshrouded and I hope you are too. 
If you like these quick guides, then give me a sub. It helps a lot. And this list ain't comprehensive, so please feel free to leave a comment about other great tips. Okay, thanks. Love you. Bye.